You've seen all the websites. Discount Windows Keys for Windows 11. But did you know you can activate it for free? Let me show you how. Okay, we are back again and I wanted to revisit the same topic. This is Windows activation key. And I made a video about this almost a year ago about how to activate your Windows for free, especially if you move your drive from one PC to another. And that one specifically said Windows 10, so I'm just making the same video again, but now it's Windows 11, it's a year later as we get closer and closer to the end of Windows 10. So I keep seeing these videos where they say you have to buy a key. And I just, I don't get it. Why do you have to buy a key for Windows if you already have Windows? You can just use your old key. If you take your drive and you put it in to another computer, you're going to get this message. It says, your hardware has changed, make sure you're connected. You're gonna to try to activate it, it won't work. And so there's a process to this. You have to have a Microsoft account though. That's the problem. And that's maybe why people are so hesitant to do this, but it works fine. I actually called Microsoft and they told me how to do this. I never heard of it before, but if this happens to you when you change your drive from one to another, you're gonna get this screen and then you go here to troubleshoot. It says troubleshooting has completed, etc., etc. It's not gonna work again. You have to go to, I changed hardware on this recently. You log into your Microsoft account and then you pick the computer that you had before. You should know the name of it, hopefully. For example, here is my list of devices in my Microsoft account. And so you just pick the one you had before. That's easy. And then it activates, the move is done. But specifically, what if you don't have a key at all? What you want to do is go here, put in any key, just find some random key on the internet, who knows, put that in, then you do the same process again, troubleshoot, activate troubleshoot, log in your Microsoft account, find your device, and that's it. Now. What if you don't have any devices that you can put in? Let's say you have no, you've never had a computer before, unlikely, but let's just pretend. You can actually grab a key from an old Optiplex or HP or any OEM computer. All you have to do is install Windows on that device log into your Microsoft account. It will then attach the key to your Microsoft account, and then you can use it on your new computer. Now that seems like a lot of work, right? I mean, you're only saving 25, $30 from the keys that you buy. But for those people that just refuse to buy a key, that's a way to do it. And you would be surprised if you have a Microsoft account, I bet you, I was surprised as well that I had this many keys in here. So basically every computer I've had for the past few years, all the keys are in my Microsoft account. So I can just pick one. Now they, I sold these computers, some of them, so I can't really use those keys anymore, but it's just an example. I, I bet you if you logged into your Microsoft account right now, you would see some really, really old devices that you forgot about and you can just use that key. 
And there's this whole myth about the key is attached to the motherboard. That's not true. I've done this several times. Windows 10, Windows 11, doesn't matter. Works fine, try it. If it doesn't work for you, if you try this method and it doesn't work for you, please reach out to me because I would want to see why that is because it's worked for me every single time. So that's it. You don't have to buy a key for Windows 10. You don't have to buy a key for Windows 11. I don't know why everybody thinks you do, but Windows is free and it will continue to be. Let me know what you think. We'll see you again.